<sighs> well, good morning, y'all. Thought I'd try something a little different today. I've been thinking about my vlog and what should I do to show you. Frankly, I have a very fun, interesting life. I've been a pro photographer since I was 23 years old. Uh, it is my only income. It is all that I do. It is all that I surround myself by. And making a living doing what I love is awesome. My story is definitely unique every day because I do many different things. I don't just do weddings. I don't just do commercial work. Um, I, I do it all. So I figured for my, my vlog, when my day gets started and you know, we have kids in school, our routine after we get home is hectic, the morning is hectic, then I go to work, which sometimes seems like my break, honestly. Um, I'm, I always have a pile to do. So for me to get around to the vlog at the end of the day or in the middle of the day, it just, it's very hard for me. And because I do so many different things, um, my calendar gets kind of full. And as much as I love doing my vlog and I really want to connect with you guys, I don't pull out the video camera enough. So this is my plan. My plan is to do morning coffee. How do you like that? This is a Father's Day gift. Isn't that cool? Let me show you. If you guys have a world market in your area, that's uh, where they found this little elephant dealie, but uh, very cool. I had an idea. Let me, let me do morning coffee with you guys, talk about my day yesterday, and then show you some images that applies to what I did. And I thought this would help me have some kind of a way of a schedule <laughs> to produce something to show you all. And uh, in the comments, y'all can leave questions and requests and that kind of thing. And I'll be happy to adapt a lot. as long as I go. I'll either answer them over a morning coffee or I will um, produce a video based on your needs. So anyway, let's talk about yesterday, shall we? <laughs> the last two days actually I had a commercial job come in town that they're a technology company but they had a Ferrari for their dangling carrot to pull people to their booth. This Ferrari was a 458 Italia. Beautiful car. Amazing car. We did images outside of the car and on the inside. And because of all of the overhead um, incandescent lighting, it was putting reflections on the windshield. And everybody's like, oh, you'll never see the people inside of the car. So we, we took about 15, 20 shots of people in there, and I had my assistant hold the flash to the side. And that looked pretty cool. Wasn't bad at all. But then it dawned on me. I'm sitting here going, you know what? The film industry, when they... Um, when they video people talking inside of cars, they always have like some kind of a LED light of some sort inside the, the car by the dash or wherever, just so they're illuminated. We all know that's fake, but it works, and your brain likes to see it, and it doesn't really care how is it not natural. It's the fact that you can see the people, and that's good enough. So I decided to do the same thing. So I put one of my flashes inside of the car, and this is what I got. Isn't that cool? So working with multiple lights is what I do. Um, it's what I've taught all around the country. I love having the knowledge that I need to apply whatever is in my head and actually be able to do it in the camera. So none of this is Photoshop. I don't like Photoshop. I don't like time on the computer. It's bad enough I shoot raw and I gotta process my files through Lightroom. Um, that's the only part of my job I don't like is the computer. It, it sucks you in like a black <laughs> hole. After my Ferrari job, I went back to the studio, uh, processed some files, did some work, placed some orders, got them in the lab, 
Um, did, did, did some emails along the way. Of course, YouTube has always opened up. I have three screens, and on, my, on the side, I always have my windows um, open as far as email and the several other sites that I use to do what I do, and YouTube is open um, for my entertainment or learning purposes. Mm. This is good coffee. And I always get inspired by other people, which honestly motivates me to also want to inspire you and uh, doing these things is why I do them but at the end of the day I had a high school senior if you don't know what high school senior casuals are um, basically they come with a small handful of outfits and we rock the session now truth be told I have never ever had a word, a plastic word, a styrofoam word that said senior. My grandmother was a model her entire life. She passed away when I was 13, I believe, and um, I did not do this at all. I did not pick up a camera until college. Um, so there's some of my grandma in me with the whole fashion modeling thing. And I learned that the more I embrace that, the better my session goes. And as a photographer, it is it's like two parts you know it's two parts one part knowledge camera all that good stuff lighting posing you need to learn all that the second part is you that's what I market is me I, I produce beautiful imagery I believe we all have uh, moments of greatness and that's what we show off and we try to create moments of great greatness on every client to me, I think that's what a pro really is, is being able to produce something amazing for each client and uh, stay in business. If you're producing something kind of cool every once in a while, work on your craft, dude. But let's just say, according to their outfits, I like to find places downtown that match the clothes that they bring. So, what's really, really, really awesome about New Orleans, um, if you've never been to New Orleans, man, you gotta come see us. You just do. My buddies up north always ask me, do you ever get tired of your own hometown? I'm like, no, have you seen what I have as backgrounds? Downtown New Orleans has European um, influence, and the way the buildings are designed one, the architecture alone is very unique, but the fact that every other building is, is its own color um, is actually unheard of. I mean, where have you seen that anywhere in the country? So physically, just walking around, I can work with my client, any client, whether it's a bride and groom for their engagement session or a high school senior with their outfits. Um, so my job is very fun. I get to walk around my own city, enjoy the beautiful smells. Oh, yesterday somebody was grilling something and it smelled so good. In fact, when I came home last night, I had to stop at the store and get me some things to throw on the grill so I can enjoy a glass of wine. That's how much it hit me. We had a great little session. And, uh, eh, let me show you a few. So anyway, that was my day yesterday. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is. Maybe one day I'll uh, show you some high-speed GoPro footage of uh, me working at the studio. There's a lot of work behind the computer, and um, I like it when I'm busy actually shooting because uh, that computer that sucks me in and dries my eyes out and burns my arms from retouching and using the mouse and the, the pen and all that good stuff burning blu-rays whatever dude not my favorite thing it's not so anyway today uh, I have headshots and I know I have a senior again at the end of the day and uh, the hard part for me is a lot of these kids see their friends images and they do like them they love them but uh, you know who doesn't want to be unique so the hard part for me is finding new spots and locations to bring my next senior to I don't want to duplicate a session completely um, that's why they come to me I'm not the school photographer um, 
and I like to treat my high school seniors like young models and we have fun keeps me young keeps me energetic keeps me creative and uh, that's my business so anyway there's more to come you guys uh, this is my backyard at my house thanks for bearing with me while I have a cup of coffee and uh, let's try and do this again tomorrow <laughs> see ya